You're looking for a good date night movie to bring that special someone out to? Love Lies Bleeding, probably not that film, because this is an A24 movie. And if we've learned anything from A24, you should expect the unexpected, and it's oftentimes not something that a lot of mainstream audiences are going to enjoy. But for us film purists out there, for us that like that artsy stuff, the, the off-the-beaten-path approach, this might be something for you to roll to stag. And what do you know? I'm here to tell you what to expect in spoiler-free fashion. Let's begin. Hey, if you're new here and you like hearing from a critic who's more like a friend that just got done watching the movie with you, maybe think about subscribing to the channel as I post tons of movie reviews, roasts, movie live streams every single week, and I'm always looking for a new pal to talk about these weird movies with. And the one in particular is Love Lies Bleeding. It's another gay chick flick. I should probably purchase a rainbow flag, toss it up in the background, because I've been championing these LGBTQ movies nonstop lately. I saw Bottoms, I saw Drive Away Dolls, and here we are again with Love Lies Bleeding. And don't they let you know it? Don't they let you know it? Because there's multiple sequences where these ladies are going to be getting hot and heavy together. And the ladies I'm referring to are Lou and Jackie, played by Kristen Stewart and Katie O'Brien. Before I get much further, I don't consider myself a prude, but I really don't care to see a bunch of sex scenes in movies, regardless of it's straight, gay, or otherwise. That's just not really what I'm into. I understand maybe having one or two to kind of shock audiences or just show their connection physically, emotionally, all that stuff's fine. A lot of times recently, it seems like movies are going out of their way to just go all in, especially if it's a, a gay film. They're like, look, it, we're going to just keep hitting you with all these scenes. Do you feel uncomfortable yet? And I never do. I just want to like get to the actual movie. And I feel like a lot of this is filler. Love Lies Bleeding's got a bunch of it. It's fine, I guess. The movie itself, I did enjoy. I thought it was pretty good. Until the ending, which is very polarizing in stupid A24 fashion. I had a problem with the recent ending of American Fiction. I thought it got too up its own ass, too up its own commentary, and was afraid to stick the landing. So it did the three or four different versions, like a Wayne's World movie. It's like, let's do the Scooby-Doo ending now. That really annoyed the crap out of me. It goes a little bonkers out of nowhere, and I hated how it was executed, especially since... There was a lot of stakes. There was a lot of drama going into this moment and it felt undercut. If you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, just forewarning. You might be all in on this movie until the final moments and then go, okay, this lost me now and I'm a little pissed. It didn't lose me to that point. I was able to look past it, but I was, I was bummed out. All right, let's get to this. What's it about? Well, it's actually very simple. Kristen Stewart plays Lou, who's a gym manager. And a new woman comes into her life, a bodybuilder who has big aspirations to go compete in her first contest. She hopes to win, and she's going to find some help from Lady Luck, a.k.a. steroids. Lou is not only her pusher, but she's also her lover. And she has some skeletons in her closet. The main one, her father, played by Ed Harris. Ed's a piece of shit. And he's kind of out of his daughter's life for the most part. Unfortunately, Lou's sister Beth played by Jenna Malone, who I've always thought was fantastic and a bit underappreciated in movies. She's married to JJ, who works for Lou. Uh, so kind of in her life, especially since JJ's also garbage and beats his wife. It's a nice one hour, 40 minute movie. I think the pacing's very good. I think visually it looks fantastic. And I really like the way they handle the steroid abuse with these creative shots, zooming into Jackie's different muscles as they're pulsating and getting larger and she's starting to get in this freak out mode. It's handled very well. Kristen Stewart does Lou really in her element here. That awkward stuttering she's been doing ever since Twilight, the pushing of the hair, the kind of repeated dialogue. It's working for this character. She's a very strong headed woman like her father for better and worse. She takes after the old man a little too much, willing to get her hands dirty, but for the most part, trying to run a clean life, trying to stay out of trouble and just run the gym. Now, she, of course, isn't without vices. She smokes, she drinks, and this is a funny thing that they do throughout the movie. You'll hear a lot of ads on the radio talking about how bad cigarettes are for you and how it's inhaling cancer. Meanwhile, Lou's involved in a lot of stuff that's worse than smoking, so it's funny that that's the thing she's trying to break the habit of. I'm not that familiar with the actress Katie O'Brien. She's really good in this. 
really good as Jackie, the bodybuilder. She looks like a female AC Slater from Say by the Bell. Has a bit of a Mario Lopez look, female edition. And she's really selling this performance as a woman on the brink of the edge, but very subdued, ready to hulk out at any moment. There, there's something to this character that's mysterious. The past is shrouded. This movie's rated R, and I would emphasize that. This is not a movie to take your family to. Don't, don't take the kid to this one. It would be awkward watching this with your son or daughter, I would say. And not only because of all the sexual stuff taking place, but also there's some pretty brutal, violent moments in this. Uh, some teeth breaking, some blood hitting the camera. It's pretty intense when it happens. It is a thriller. You don't really know what's going to happen in the film. And I was actually surprised, pleasantly so, that it's kind of a dark comedy. There is a good amount of humor in this film. And I appreciated that. It really kind of kept things from getting too dire, too somber because of the content that's involved. Overall, it was a great watch for me. Flawed, yes, mainly because of the ending, but a great watch nevertheless. I do think this is going to be bad for some people that maybe aren't into this kind of more artsy stuff. I'm on the fence often. You can push me to a certain level, but there's a place that's too far, okay? I like my Donnie Darkos, I like my Everything Everywhere All at Once, I like my Black Swans, but movies like Mother, you lose me. You, you, I just, I can't go that far out with the allegories and all that bullshit. Or Men, where dudes are literally giving birth to themselves, not really my cup of tea. This falls a little close to that territory at the end. Not quite crazy, but pretty damn stupid if you ask me. Okay, those are my thoughts. This is a recommendation. If you love A24 movies, you like things that are different outside the bun, this definitely is that. For mainstream moviegoers, for people looking for a good date night movie, absolutely not. There's probably that stupid Sydney Sweeney movie, uh, Anyone But You. That's got to be streaming somewhere. That's about as bullshit lame as you can get. And that can be fine for people too. I didn't mind that one. It sucked. It, I mean, it's, it's like shit, but it's fine. <laughs> It's like, it's like, it's not good. It's super, like, super basic crap. You know exactly what's going to happen, but eh, it's just still watchable crap. It, it, it does enough right. Okay, those are my thoughts. Please let me know if you saw this. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. Again, I would encourage you to subscribe. I, I review all sorts of stuff. I, I have no agendas. I got no, there's nothing else going on here. Okay, nothing spiritual, religious, political. I'm just telling you about movies and, and where I stand on them. And you might agree, you might not. But at the end of the day, hopefully I'm providing a service of either laughter or some sort of education before you make your decision to purchase a movie because they're expensive. It's tough to go out to the movies now for a lot of people. Make sure your purchase is worth it. Okay, that, that's all I have. Hopefully I see you next time. Take care. <laughs>